Hello everyone, welcome in this subject of engineering graphics and design. We are learning isometric projections and isometric drawing. Now today we will construct the isometric projections and isometric view of given orthographic projections. Our first example is front view, top view and side view of object are given. Draw its isometric view. Means orthographic projections are given. It's front view, top view and left hand side view is given. This is the orthographic projection of one object. These orthographic projections are in first angle projection method. Our aim is to draw the 3D drawing means isometric view. So what is difference between isometric view and isometric projections? In isometric view, the 3D drawing in which all the dimensions are in true length, but in isometric projection, all the dimensions in 3D drawing reduced. So here orthographic projections in which front view, top view and left hand side view. So first of all you have to find out the overall length, width and height of the object. So first length 60 mm, width 30 plus 20 means 50 mm and height 20, 20, 20, 60. Here I have given the number for length 1, for width 2 and for height 3. So length of the object can be found from front view as well as from top. Width of the object can be found from top view as well as from side view. Height of the object can be found from front view as well as from left hand side. Now how to start isometric drawing or isometric view? First of all we have to draw one horizontal line, take any point and draw a line which is 30 degree inclined to horizontal line. Now give the name of this line is line number 1. Second, 30 degree clockwise with horizontal line, give name 2. Third one is always vertical line which is perpendicular to horizontal line. So in any isometric drawing or isometric view, we have to draw these three lines which represents the length, width and height of the object. Here we have taken one number here which represents length 60 mm. Sometimes if you put here one number and two number here, so in that case this line represents length and this is width. But here we want to put arrow for the position of the observer here then this line must be length. If you put this arrow here then this line must be length. Actually before final drawing here we are using thin lines or light lines for construction. Now from this origin to line number 1 we have to put 60 mm long line line number 2 50 mm line number 3 60 so this is 60 mm this is also 60 mm parallel to line number 1 now draw one line parallel to line number 1 means length from this point draw one line parallel to line number 2 width from this line again parallel to length and this line parallel to width. Before drawing, we have to prepare one box of length, width, and height. So, this is the border of our object. Now, keep in your mind 
the lines in 2D and lines in 3D. Now in 2D object, front view, all the horizontal lines in 3D that all horizontal lines are parallel to line number 1. All vertical lines in front view in 2D that lines in 3D all are parallel to line number 3. Now in top view all the horizontal lines are parallel to line number 1 in 3D. All vertical lines in top view parallel line number 2 in 3D. Now in 2D side view all the horizontal lines are parallel to line number 2 in 3D and all vertical lines in side view parallel to line number 3 in 3D. Yeah, okay, start first line is this horizontal line length on line number 1. Now this vertical line is here. Now this is vertical line for this horizontal parallel to line number 1. The vertical line parallel to line number 3. This horizontal line parallel to length. Vertical line parallel to line number 3. And this horizontal line parallel to line number 1. Now observe left hand side view in which this line horizontal is width. This vertical line height parallel to line number 3. This horizontal line parallel to line number 2. This vertical line parallel to line number 3 and for this line this parallel to line number 2. Now top view this line represents parallel to line number 1. This line represents parallel to line number 2. This is parallel to line number 1 and this line is parallel to line number 2. Now if we combine front view, top view and side view in your mind, you will get in top view there are two steps which represents in front view this one and for side view these are two steps. So this line for front view is this and for top view is this. This line for top view this line and for front view is just one. This line front view for this. This is for this line because this plane is perpendicular to HP and perpendicular to VP and parallel to profile. This is for this horizontal line. And this is for this vertical line, this for this vertical line. So this is our final object, insert all the dimensions. Next front view and top view of an object are given, draw its isometric view. So here one object is given in which this is front view and top view. These orthographic projections are in first angle projection method. So observe here total overall length 80 mm, width 40 mm and height 40 mm. This is base, front view of base, top view of base. This is front view of this plate or block. Its top view is represented here. There is one slot you can see in top view. 
the front view of that slot here. So first we'll find out overall length width height, line number 1, 2, 3. Draw 30 degree, 30 degree and vertical line. Now here we are starting, first directly draw this bottom block, means draw a line, line number 1, line number 2, this line is of length 80 mm and this is 40 mm and draw vertical 10 mm, also 10 mm and 10. So first of all draw one bottom base bottom part or base of the object. Now length 60 plus 20 and width 10 mm draw one block here 60 and 10. Draw vertical 30 mm height draw line parallel to this. Now insert the final outline for this block. This is 10 mm deep, 10 mm vertical height 10 mm. So you have to complete your bottom block with red color, which is final outlines. Now for this block draw vertical line from this. Now this block in which this length is 40 mm so you have to go 40 mm and join this point to bottom of the plate. This is 10 mm thickness so insert this line for this line and you have to join these two corners. Now draw the isometric view of cylinder. First case when cylinder is lying on HP. Second case when cylinder is standing on the HP. Draw one horizontal line. Now from any point you have to draw 30 degree line and draw one line which is equal to diameter of the cylinder. And this is also diameter of the cylinder. This is also diameter. This is also diameter. Draw one circle using four center method by taking major diagonal, smaller diagonal, midpoint of every sides, okay, and four arc by using four centers. This is the height of the cylinder. Draw parallel lines. There is another rhombus here and insert circle using four center method. Draw parallel to this line from the extreme point of the circle. Now when you draw the isometric view, there is no any hidden line. So you have to remove this part. This is final isometric drawing or isometric projection of cylinder which is lying on HP. Now for standing, when the cylinder is resting on HP with axis perpendicular to HP. So we have to draw two rhombus here also but here there is two 30 degree 30 degree angle. Draw circle using a rhombus or four center method. Draw vertical lines which represents the height of the cylinder, another rhombus. Draw circle using four center method and draw the generator of the cylinder and remove this part final isometric term. Now our last problem, a square pyramid of 30 mm base side and 50 mm long axis is centrally 
on the top of the cube of 50 mm long edges. Draw isometric projections of the pair. So here we want to draw isometric projections, not isometric view. So we have to convert all the dimensions into reduced scale, means isometric scale. For that we have to first draw isometric scale, horizontal line 30 degree incline which is known as isometric length, and one line incline 45 degree which is true length. Here we have two dimensions 30 mm and 50 mm. So we have to convert 30 mm into isometric length as well as 50 mm also in isometric length. So take true length 30 mm from A E. Okay, A is equal to 30 mm. Now from E draw vertical line up to A C that is G. So here A G is known as isometric length of 30 mm. A is 30 mm which is known as true length but isometric length is A G. Similarly, 50 mm from A to F, draw vertical line from F up to isometric line. So, this is H. Now, A H is equal to isometric length of 50, which is also less than 50. You can also find mathematically like this, isometric length is equal to 0.816 into true length. Means if you want to find the isometric length of 30, then just multiply 30 with 0.816 and similar form 50. And that isometric length or reduced dimensions are used for preparing 3D object. The drawing is known as isometric projections. So first of all, draw a horizontal line from any point, draw a line 30 degree with horizontal also 30 degree. Now in this object a square pyramid is centrally on the top of the cube. So first of all draw the cube. So cube of 50 mm long. So here width 50, length 50, height is also 50 mm. So you have to draw 50 mm, 50 mm height. This line is parallel to height. This is parallel. Now the length is parallel to line number one. This is also parallel to this. This line is parallel to width. And this parallel to length. So this is our isometric projection of Q. So in this drawing, this length width and height all are equal but the size of this line is not true length 50 mm but it is isometric length of 50 mm so it is less than 50. Now for square pyramid which is centrally on the top so the center of this surface of cube and center of base of the pyramid both are same. So first of all you have to find the center point and draw one square of size isometric 30 mm. Height of the pyramid is also 50 mm. So take 50 mm isometric length. Iso 50 mm. This is the apex of the square pyramid. So join from apex to corner of base with three lines. Insert dimensions isometric 50 mm. This is isometric 30 mm. But in regular drawing, you have to just insert the dimensions 50 mm, 30 mm and 50. but here we are using isometric projections so for clarifications I have insert 
like ISO 30, ISO 50 and ISO. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.